thing I'm going to do is show you guys how easy it is to back up your entire drive with USB. So now I'm plugging in my uh, Western Digital uh, USB drive. Got that bad boy plugged in. And I'm going to back up my entire operating system onto the USB drive. Alright, let's go ahead and um, open up our Norton Ghost. And we're going to run our backup job. And it's that easy to back up your entire hard drive in case something happens to your computer where you need to recover. All you need to do is pop in the Norton Ghost boot CD, boot up from the Norton Ghost boot CD, and it's going to pull all your information and restore your computer from your USB drive. This is great if you're um, doing a lot on your computer. I would advise that you do this at least monthly. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do here is take out the uh, stuck 40 gig hard drive and I'm going to replace it with a one terabyte hard drive that I found in a portable enclosure that's no longer working. Now, maybe the one terabyte drive might work, maybe it might not because there might have been a problem with the enclosure and not necessarily the hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and um, switch them out. After I switch out the 40 gigabyte stock hard drive for the one terabyte hard drive, I'm going to connect this um, portable USB device which has a backup of the 40 gigabyte drive loaded onto the one terabyte drive and see how it goes. So I unplugged it. This one is the um, one terabyte drive which I'm going to put back in. But I want to take out the um, stock drive for now, I'm not going to take it out of the case because I, I don't need to. What I did was I just took the power out of it for now. So I'll, I'll let it actually uh, sit in the case. That's done. Next thing, I'm going to put my uh, DVD-ROM back in. DVD is back in, perfect. Next thing, I'm going to get my Norton Ghost boot disk and we're going to do a restore.
Norton Ghost is loading up and we're, we're going to be able to recover the 40 gig hard drive and we're going to throw that onto the one terabyte hard drive and we're going to have a lot more space. Now Norton Ghost is pretty easy and it's pretty straightforward so I'm just going to go to recover my computer. Now it's looking for some recovery um, points. And the one I want is from 5.19 p.m. four hours ago. The most um, recent one, this C drive. That's that's the one I want so we're gonna click next I'm gonna select it now I'm selecting the backup that I want to restore now I'm clicking next I'm just going back this way um, it looks like the software uh, made a mistake because it's saying the drive and the target drive are invalid. So I had to go to the change section here, then I'm clicking browse, and I browsed into the area of the uh, hard drive where I know I saved the file, and I'm actually selecting the file, clicking OK. I'm going to click next. Free agent is the target drive that I want to put this into. So I'm selecting uh, free agent. I'm going to click next. All right, the hard drive is replaced. I'm going to turn the computer on and we're going to see what's going on. We're going to see if this worked. It's my little setup right here. Go ahead and log in. All right, looks like it's working just fine. My um, hard drive upgrade went perfectly. I love it when a plan comes together. Pretty sweet. Look at the size of that hard drive. I partitioned it by the way, so CNF is actually the uh, same one terabyte hard drive. Pretty sweet.